Hi there, my name's Vince from MyMateVince.com and in this video today I'm going to show you the Wii U Portable. So as you can see now we're walking along in this lovely British rainy day. I've got the Wii U here working hands free. Now I'm filming with one hand so I can't actually show you any gameplay. Well I can go into Mario Kart for a minute but I'll show you all that in a few minutes. Now I don't want to do this too long because uh, obviously it is raining. But the Wii U it's got a lot of hate but really it's a very good console. The problem with it is it doesn't work very far between the actual console itself and the gamepad. But when you put it into portable mode, then you can go wherever you want in the house or wherever you want in the world and it will still work. So let me just show you Mario Kart. Right, okay, let me get inside out of the rain and show you how to set this up. So we're back inside now, nice and dry, out of the rain. Now, before I start, I do realise that this video is probably around four years too late, and I don't expect anybody to go out there and get a Wii U to make it portable, because, let's face it, obviously you're going to be getting a Nintendo Switch to do that job now. But if you already have a Wii U and you might have a huge library of games on it, because remember, the virtual console, then the majority of games can be played off TV, so in handheld mode. Now you might be wondering how I got this to work when I was walking in the woods. It's actually very easy to do. I haven't had to take anything apart. You do have to spend a bit of money. It's really simple. All we're doing is we're using a power bank and in this case I'm using a car starter so it's got plenty of oomph behind it. Now I was actually wearing a, a backpack when I was walking there and inside here I have the console and on top of the console you can see that I've got this car starter here. Now with the Wii U we need to have 15 volts to make it work. You can get power banks that work off 15 volts but I already had this one. This outputs 12 volts so rather than go out and buy another one because the 15 volt ones are kind of rare you have to search quite hard to get them. I got this one here and I just simply put it via this little that converts 12 volts which is the cigarette lighter in your car into either 15, 16, 18, 19, 20, 22 or 24 and so I've got it onto the 15 volts and then I've got that plug straight into the Wii U and that's what's giving it the power and you can see here I've just made up my own little lead going into here I've used a, a couple of female copper sockets and then they just go in there and they're just held into place with this little clip here so this car starter here cost £30. I already had this from another project with uh, a portable Nintendo, well a bigger portable Nintendo Switch XL and then you can get this little one here for, last time I looked it was I think it was 8 or 9 UK pounds so for under £40 you can get this set up and it does actually work really well. So it comes out of here in 12 volts and then this converts it to 15 volts because the power supply from the Wii U is only 15 volts at 5 amps, you're looking at 75 watts. But most of the things I've read up about the Wii U, they're saying that it only runs, you know, roughly around the mid 30s watts, so around 35 watts. And I think that's because the power supply that comes with it has to cover everything. So, for example, you might have the USB ports at the front in use, you might have the USB ports at the back in use, and all of them have to be catered for by the power supply. But if you're just using it like here, with nothing else plugged into it so I haven't got an external hard drive or anything then it's going to be using very little watts indeed and with this battery here like this I get three hours use of it when I'm playing a mixture of digital and physical games so now you're going to get more battery life if you just use purely digital because you haven't got the disc spinning around in there so when you see Mario Kart earlier on in the woods it was actually a disc now you might be worried about damaging a disc and yeah you are quite right to worry about that in which case just use digital. Remember now with the virtual console we've got a huge amount of games on the Wii U that we can play just in handheld mode. So if you want to play your old classics from your NES or your SNES or the Nintendo 64 then it can all be done in handheld mode and the majority of games can also be played in off TV mode, in handheld mode as well. Something like Splatoon can't but most of the games can. So if you are worried about your discs then just play purely digital and then you're going to get even longer out of the power supply than if you're playing discs. So there you go, as you can see, it's a nice easy way to set up 
and then you can have a portable Wii U on the go. Now, obviously this is not as portable as a Nintendo Switch because a Nintendo Switch we've only got to carry one device around. This is only if, for example, you were going on a train journey, you were already carrying a backpack with you, in which case then the weight of this is 2.3 kilograms. So it's not light, but again, it's not going to break your back either. And then all you can do is you can take this out, and if you've got a bit of room on the train, you can pop it on the seat or the desk in front of you. It doesn't take up too much room. Or again, if you're embarrassed by it, just keep it in your bag, and then you can just play this in handheld mode. Remember, you're easily going to get five six seven meters between here and here so it's not a problem so you could in theory even put this in the overhead compartment above you and you could just play this in handheld mode and then although this is bulkier than nintendo switch it's not too much bigger and it's very lightweight as well it doesn't weigh much at all so like i said when i was walking in the woods that is the biggest problem that we you i think it is a fantastic system it's just that if you could get whole house coverage from here to here then it would be fine because then you could take this up to your bedroom and play or you could bring it outside and play but the problem with it is it cuts out as soon as you go any more than like five six seven eight meters away from here depending on the interference in your house you might get a little bit further but not much and that to me is what lets it down but at least now with this setup here if you did want to play it in your bedroom you can just bring this anywhere in your house and then as long as you're within four or five meters of it it's going to work flawlessly and then if you want to take it outside you can bring it outside if you want to take it away with you in the car wherever obviously if you were just using this just for the car you would get yourself a car inverter you can buy them from places like Amazon and eBay for under 30 UK pounds and then what they will allow is they will allow 240 volts out of your 12 volt socket in your car in which case then you would just have your Nintendo Wii U brick with it you know the power supply and then you could use it in that way but if you're happy playing up to three hours then this is an ideal situation and with me my gamepad seems to run out roughly around the same time as this power bank here so there we go that is it let me just end with a little bit of Mario Kart gameplay you can see obviously there's nothing attached to this There you go, you can see it working. I'm just going to turn the volume down because I don't want a copyright claim on this. But if you have a look, it works exactly the same as if you've got the power supply in. Right, and let's say if you're gamepad was running low on power then you can charge it up from here as well so let me just show you that so you can also buy USB power supplies for the gamepad here and then all we would do is we would plug one end into one of the spare USBs on the front here we've got a one amp and a two amp coming out the front of this particular model and then we would plug this one into here and as you can see it will charge obviously by doing this we're going to run the battery down even quicker but still it gets you out of a bind if you haven't charged this up before you've left the house. At least then you know you can charge your gamepad from here. So there we go. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it. And please subscribe for more how-to videos. Take care. Bye now.